Success is not final. Failure is not fatal. It is the courage to continue that counts. Winston Churchill. Even though I'm late posting this, I'm still going to post it. So enjoy. Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Kat. I'm so excited that you're here. In fact, I'm actually pumped because we're starting a new thing. I'm going to be doing a new series. It's going to be monthly reset series where I go over my goals for the month. We look back on my previous goals, see if I accomplished them, and just tag you guys along on my journey. This is going to keep me held accountable and responsible and just inspired to make sure that I'm bringing you guys some good news on what I accomplished. So I have this separated into four different categories. We have personal, business, faith, and overall. My overall is kind of like a catch-all bucket, things I might have not accomplished in June or July. So we're going to jump in, but before we do, hit that subscribe button because I know that 50% of you guys that watch my videos are not subscribed. Also, if you like this video, go ahead and just give it a thumbs up. That would mean the world to me. Okay, let's just jump into the first one. Okay, so my first bucket's gonna be personal and the top on the list is find a job. I don't know if you guys have been hearing about the tech layoffs that have been happening since the beginning of the year, but unfortunately I was part of that and I haven't really been looking for anything because I've been growing my other passive income means, but I figured it would be really nice to just get like a contract position for the holiday season. So that is what I'm looking for. Next on my list is going to be a Daniel fast. I'm actually in the midst of it right now and it is difficult. If you guys don't know what that is, I definitely encourage you to look it up. It's 21 days. Of fasting it is the Daniel fast so it includes a few lines of things that you need to avoid such as caffeine sugar alcohol so I know some of you guys are probably cringing and saying oh that's awful well it is but it's also great for you at the end of it if anything if you guys are interested and you want to have more information about it or if you guys want me to do a video on it leave a comment down below so that way I know. Number three on the list is going to be read a personal book or two, depending on how fast I accomplish on reading this and finish it out. So my book of the month is going to be in five years. I feel like some of you guys have probably have read this. It's nothing new. It's an older book. It's a few years old, but I've heard good things. I actually thrifted this book. I came across it. And so I did a little quick Amazon search and saw that there was high reviews. And it seems like a good book so far. I wanted something that was not self-help and it wasn't um, another devotional, which I'm doing a lot right now already. I wanted something that kind of took my mind off of reality on things. And so this is just like a fun read for entertainment. That way I'm not putting it towards TV time, which I'm trying to take away as much as possible, which I don't really watch TV, but I rather have more of an excuse to do something else. And reading is always a great option. Work out four to five days a week. I've been fairly consistent when i say fairly i go around like three to four days a week and then sometimes i'll take a whole week off and which will be like every other two weeks i take breaks but i know that if i take long breaks then i kind of start from square one so trying to get back into more of a routine of four to five days would be really great especially before the holidays because once holidays rolls over and the colder weather especially in chicago it is difficult to get you outside of the house so I'm trying to be consistent and more so and just adding like a day or two to my week as opposed to the three to four. Last one on the personal bucket is going to be art. If you guys don't know, I do hand embroidery. I also do some painting and drawing and whatnot. So if you guys are interested, check out my Instagram page. It's Ink and Honey. I will link that right here. And yeah, I just haven't done art in a long time, in a very long time. And so I kind of want to get back into it. It's just been a while. I have no excuse. Okay, next bucket is going to be business. And I know what you're thinking, you're probably saying, but you're getting a job. I have a business also, and some of the things that I'm gonna go over here is specifically towards that. It's my Etsy store. If you're not familiar with it, it's inkandhoney.etsy.com. Check that out. And also, if you want a sneak peek of some of the items that I have, check out one of my last videos. I'll make sure to link that as well. It's my print on demand. Some of the items that are hitting my shop for the holiday season, right in time for back to school. So if you're a dorm room girl, you should check this out, honestly. If you're a university lady, some of these items might come in handy. I have totes, I have hats, I have sweaters coming in store. So definitely take a sneak peek. I'll make sure to link that as well. All right, next on the list, it, it's kind of a combo. So we have Grow My YouTube and hopefully 
get a thousand views on my next video it has been a struggle on some of my videos on hitting a thousand views but that's all right because i'm learning as i'm growing so since youtube has changed some of their rules and you don't have to get a thousand subscribers you just need 500 i'm almost there you guys so if you haven't subscribed yet please do because that will help me a lot and i would really appreciate that all right let's jump into faith that's the next bucket so the first one is read revelations and do the study i recently just got a study from my boyfriend's grandmother she just gave that to me for revelations i'm actually finishing off romance and then jumping into revelations now no rhyme or reason why i'm doing that i'm just interested in revelations currently with like where the world is as we speak that is on my list next one is to possibly join a bible study group i'm thinking about doing a virtual one i don't know if i have the time to do one in person right now and i know i say i don't have the time but like my schedule i'm just kind of seeing what would be the best alternative and i think that i know i'll be more dedicated if i do a virtual one so i'm seeing what is out there and then of course daniel fast is a part of that which i kind of already brushed on that so that kind of goes into my personal and faith for the Daniel Fast on my faith side, a lot of it has to do with kind of taking away things that are pleasing the flesh and leaning my relationship more on God and then kind of going through this prayer and petition of like what I'm seeking for this season. And I think it's so perfect for me that I'm doing this new monthly reset series and then doing this fast at the same time. So that way I can kind of align myself on these goals and hoping that with God's will, he can help me accomplish them. Prayer life, be stronger for others, less for myself. I've been doing great with prayer on the daily. I go on my prayer walks. I'm doing prayer while I'm doing my chores. I'm just consistently in conversation with God, but I need to learn how to incorporate other people as they are incorporating me into their prayer life. Okay, last but not least, it's the catch-all bucket, the overall what I wanna accomplish that I didn't get to do maybe in June or July. So just kind of like end of season, let's just add them to the bucket list. Number one, go to the beach. I live steps away from the beach here at Lakeshore in Chicago. If you're not familiar, that's our lakefront. And I think that's my excuse is I live so close so we just haven't really gotten. So that is something I really wanna do. I need to book more travel. We haven't really traveled this season because we've just been so busy with Jordan working. And then so I really wanna squeeze in some travel before we get busy and hone down with the holidays. Uh, let's see. Oh, I definitely want to do some more street festivals. We have a lot of neighborhood festivals that we haven't gone to and sometimes we just kind of leave it for the end of this year. So I'm really looking forward to some of them. A lot of them are themed and some of them are just kind of neighborhood festivals where they have just a combination of everything from food to art to music. So I really want to do that and then also plan our future long-term goals. We don't know how long we're going to be living in the city. And so, you know, some things that we want to figure out in the next couple years. And then so it makes sense for us to write them down now and then work our way backwards towards that. Let me know if you guys have any tips or tricks on what I should add or if anything has worked for you. And then also, if you have any book recommendations, please let me know as well. But let's just jump into cleaning. And I also need to get my nails done. Jordan just thrifted this mirror not long ago and I'm gonna list it on the site. Just gotta clean it up. There's also a little scratch, so I'm gonna see if I could solve that with some toothpaste. They also said baking soda might work. We're gonna try it all. Good boy. And get the back teeth. Okay, check this out. I came across two caterpillars on my carrot tops in my garden. Now this comes as no surprise because they come every year and lay eggs, whether it's in my dill, my cilantro, but you know what? They're not a nuisance because they actually help me out. Some of the carrot tops I'm supposed to cut so the energy goes back down to the root. So they really help me out by eating some of that excessive greens so they can stay. I did end up finding some time to do my nails and I did this really cute design of cherries, but it didn't last so long. 
only about 24 to 48 hours because I used a peelable nail polish that comes off pretty easily so I can change designs but this hand this is a little bit more permanent this will last about four weeks or so okay off to the beach checking off the list no actually we're just gonna go play basketball that's near the beach but still second best We just came back from playing basketball and I got that notification that I made a sale and guess what I sold? You guys remember that mirror we were cleaning earlier? I sold it. It goes that quick. It actually goes faster than a thrift store so I'm really happy that Jordan was able to pick it up. But yeah, now it's on its way to a happy home. I'm gonna go package it up and then we're gonna ship it out tomorrow. If you made it this far in the video, I love ya. So thank you so much for watching all the way through. Until the next one.